Okay, so paano ba tayo gumagawa ng histogram? A histogram is a graphical representation of the frequency and distribution table ng ating mga data. Okay, halimbawa, meron tayo dito um, raw data na tinatawag. Raw data are the numbers na hindi pa napaprocess for data analysis. So, para ma-analyze ma natin yung outcome, kailangan natin gumamit ng mga graphical illustrations, ng mga graphical interpretations, or um, tabular interpretation ng mga ito. Dalawang pwede natin gawin dito. Okay, pwede tayong gumawa ng FDTR or Frequency Distribution Table for this one. And we can also make a histogram at the same time and also we can also have a textual presentation for this data over here. So let's try to make first the Frequency Distribution Table for this particular raw data over here. Since hindi naman magkakalayo yung mga numbers na nandito at meron lang tayong 20 students, uh, pwede tayong gumamit ng ungroup uh, FDTR or ungroup frequency data distribution. Bakit? Kasi konti lang naman yung ating respondents. But kung meron tayong mga, siguro nasa 50 or 100 na respondents, kailangan natin i-group yung mga values wherein meron tayong intervals. But since ito, hindi naman nagkakalayo, tsaka konti lang naman sila, uh, gamit na lang tayo ng FDTR and group. Okay? So, paano ba natin ginagawa yun? So, ganito lang siya. Okay, let's try to make now an a FDTR for this value over here. So, alam natin na pinakamataas dito is 300. Right? Ang susunod is 250, 200. Okay? Ito lang naman yung mga values na nandito. So, syempre kailangan meron tayong label. So, we have usual daily allowance. Miki daw. <laughs> okay. So, after that, uh, yung isa naman nating label is tally. Or kung kaya nyo naman siyang bilangin, kahit wala na yung tally, okay lang. Okay. So, pwede nating lagay dito. Ang lagay na lang natin dito is frequency. Frequency is the number of outcomes doon sa ating data. Kung ilang 300, ilang 250, ilang 200 ang meron doon. And then, next is yung ating percentage. Okay. So, ano, ano yung mga values na nandito? Meron tayong 300. Meron tayong 250. Meron din tayong 200. Meron tayong 150. Yung favorite number nyo. 150. 100. And the lowest is 50. Now, we need to, to find now the frequency or the number of occurrence of these numbers uh, from this raw data over here. So, paano natin gagawin yun? Bibilangin lang natin ilang 300, ilang 250 ang meron. Ilang 200 ang meron. So, let's count. So, for 300, we have 1, 2, 3. Meron tayong tatlo. For 250, meron tayong dalawa. For 200, meron tayong 2, 3, 4, 5. So, dito pa lang makikita natin kung ano yung pinaka uh, may malaking part doon sa ating raw data. So, for 150, we have 1, 2, 3. Okay. For 100, we have 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And for 50, we have 3. Okay. The last part of your table will be the total. Okay. So, hatiin natin to. Please bear with my drawing, guys. Medyo hindi perfect yung ating drawing. But still, it, it looks like a table. Okay. So, dapat ang total nito ay 20. So, we have 3 plus 2, that's 5 plus 5, 10 plus 3, that's 13, plus 4, that's 17, that plus 3, that is 20. Ngayon, kapag yung total nyo ay hindi umakba dun sa total number or dun sa n numbers ng students or ng respondents you have to repeat the tallying again. Okay, next is to get the percentage. Our formula for percentage percentage okay, is equal to the number of frequency the frequency over the 
total number of frequency times 100. So, meron tayo dito 3 out of 20. So, that is 3 over 20. Okay, so that is 3 over 20. Wait lang, balitan natin ng kulay. Okay. So, we have 3 divided by 20 times 100. So, that is equal to 0 0.15, right? Or, ah, no, nag-times na tayo ng 100. So, that is 15%. Okay, next. Siyempre, may 3 pa tayo dito. So, gayahin na lang natin siya. Pareho lang din naman yung lalabas. Which equal to 15%. Next, 3 divided 20 times 100 is equal to 15%. Next, we have 2 over 20. That is 10%. So, let's have this one. We have 2 divided 20. Sorry for the sounds around me is equal to 10%. Okay. Next, we have 5 over 20. 5 divided 20 is the 25%. So, we have 5 divided 20 times 100 that is equal to 25% or 1 fourth of the distribution. Next, we have 4 over 20. 4 over 20 is... So, 4 divided 20, that is equal to, times 100, that is equal to 20%. Okay. Sa FDTR, hin kahit hindi nyo na ilagay itong solution natin dito, nilagay ko lang siya para masundan nyo siya, okay? So, usually, ang nakalagay lang sa percentage is itong mga nasa percent natin. And the total should be equal to 100%. That is for the frequency distribution table, okay? Frequency and Percentage Distribution Table. Kaya siya tinawag na FDT. Frequency Distribution Table. So, this Frequency Distribution Table now is equal to the usual daily allowance of the students, of the student respondents. Okay, next is uh, gagawa tayo ng histogram of this table over here. Pwede nyo rin naman siyang gawin muna. Una, bago yung table. Pero mas maganda kung mauna yung table. Let's, let's see. Ayan. So, gagawa tayo ngayon ng histogram. Okay. Histogram. Histogram is a lot like to bar graph. Okay, kasi meron siyang bar-like representation ng ating um, amount. Sa paggawa ng histogram, ang ilalagay natin dito sa gilid is yung frequency. Okay. Tapin. Sorry. Is yung ating frequency. So, since hindi ko siya maisulat, pabaliktad. So, meron tayong frequency. Dito sa um, vertical line natin. And dito naman sa ating horizontal line is the usual usual daily allowance. Okay. We know that we have distinct values for the daily allowance. So, let's have it here. Okay. Yung daily allowance natin, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. So, uh, pinakamataas dito is yung 300. So, pwede tayo mag-start ng 50. So, start tayo ng 50. Muna, pinakamababa. Next is 100. Next is 150. Next, we have 200. Next, we have 250. Next, we have 300. Next, yung ating histogram. Palitan ko yung kulay para ma-distinguish nyo siya. Okay. Okay, orange yun lang. So, yung ating frequency. Yung frequency naman natin, gano siya kadalas lumabas. So, meron tayo dito, pinakamababa is 2. Okay. So, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 
see. You can do a better drawing <laughs> compared to this. I know. Yeah. Next is gagawa na tayo ng intersection ng kanilang values. Okay, so since yeah, dito tayo. Okay, since meron tayong tat, uh, start tayo sa 15, meron tayong 3 as a frequency for 50. So, ang intersection niya is at 3 50 and, and this bar over here compose the 15% of the distribution. Okay. This is 15%. Next, we have 100, which is at 4. So, dito yung tapat ni 100. So, may 4. So, drawing tayo ulit ng bar dyan. Then, shade natin siya. Ayan. Diba? It looks like bar graph. But, it is histogram since it shows an intersection of values. Next, we have 150. For 150, meron tayong 3 ulit. So, dito siya. Okay, shade natin siya ulit. Next, we have 200. For 200, meron tayong 5. Na pinakamarami. So, dito ang 5. Sa tapat ng 5. Tapos sa tapat ng 200. Ayan. And then, shade natin siya ulit. Okay. Next, we have 250, which is 2, pinakamababa. And this 250 occupies 10% only of the distribution. Because we only have 2 out of 20 who, whose allowance is at 250. Next, for 300, meron ulit tayong 3. Oh, sorry. Okay, dito siya. So, ganun lang gumawa ng histogram. Okay, sometimes may ginagawa pa sila dito. Um, nilalagyan nila ng labels yung mga bars natin. So, for 50, eh, dun naman papasok yung ating mga percentage. So, sa 50, meron tayong 15%. To properly illustrate the histogram, for 100, we have 20%. For 150, we have 15%. Okay. And sa 200, pinaka may malaking bahagdan. This is 25%. And 250, this is 10%. 10%. And for 300, we have 15%. So, instead of just doing the FDTR, you can also visually interpret the data over here, the raw data, using histogram to, of course, ignite or uh, arouse the interest of our readers in terms of reading and visualizing the result of the study. So, kung ite-textual natin yan, we can say that 3 out of 20 students have a daily allowance of 300 pesos, 150 pesos, and 50 pesos. While 5, while 4 of them has 100 pesos, 5 of them have 200 pesos, and 2 of them have an allowance of 250 pesos pesos. Okay. In this case, the pwede nating sabihin, because ang pinakamarami nga is 200. In this case, uh, the usual daily allowance of students can range up to 200 pesos. Okay. Kasi yun yung pinakamost, yun yung mode natin yung pinakamadami. So, that is how we use the three methods of um, data presentation. Thank you so much, guys. Good afternoon.